Hey student, as we know, Earth is the only planet where life exists. But this life, it depends upon various factors such as the resources available on Earth and the energy from the sun, etc. So obviously, the sun provides us light and heat. But what are the resources that Earth provides us? These are land, water and air. Talking about the land, do you know the outer crust of the earth is called lithosphere? It comprises 25% of the outer surface of earth. You are wondering how about the rest of the 75%? Well, it consists of water and this is called hydrosphere. The water is also found underground to the earth surface. But yet these two are not just sufficient for our survival and hence the air it covers the whole of earth as a blanket and this blanket is called atmosphere. Living things are found where these three exist and their interaction forms a zone where life is possible and this zone is called biosphere. Now the biosphere is again divided into two major components biotic and abiotic. The biotic components are the living things such as plants, animals and microorganisms while the abiotic components are the non-living things of biosphere such as land, air and soil. So in this lesson you are going to learn about the abiotic factors such as air in detail. So talking about air, we all know that air is a mixture of various gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapors etc. It is interesting to note even the composition of air is the result of life on earth. Because if you notice planets such as Venus and Mars where no life exists, the major composition of atmosphere is found to be carbon dioxide. In fact, in these planets, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is found to be around 95 to 97 percentage. Now can you tell me any two processes by which the carbon dioxide is released? Well, as we all know, the living organisms, they intake the oxygen. So they utilize this oxygen for the production of energy in their body and as a result they produce carbon dioxide. Also when we burn any kind of fuel it also results in the production of carbon dioxide and not just us even carbon dioxide is produced a lot of times naturally by forest fires also. Now this burning of fuel by producing light and heat is what we call combustion. So basically respiration and combustion produces major amount of carbon dioxide on earth. So if there is so much of carbon dioxide produced then there should be a significant percent of it in our atmosphere. But despite this amount there is only a fraction of percentage of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. Wondering how? Well, most of the carbon dioxide in our atmosphere gets fixed. And how does it happen? It is done by two ways, by green plants and marine animals. So green plants during photosynthesis fix this atmospheric carbon dioxide into glucose in the presence of sunlight. Similarly, marine animals, they use the dissolved carbonates in the sea water to make their shells. Moving forward, let us see the role of atmosphere in climate control. 
So as we know, the atmosphere, it acts as a blanket of our earth. And also that air is a bad conductor of heat. So now due to this, the atmosphere, it keeps the temperature of earth fairly constant throughout the day, night and throughout the year also. So basically, the atmosphere prevents the sudden increase in temperature during the daylight. And during the night time, it stops or it prevents the escape of heat into the outer space. But unlike Earth, think of Moon. Moon, it is located at the same distance as the Earth is. But Due to the absence of atmosphere, the temperature, it ranges from minus 190 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade on moon. So now you have basically seen that how important an atmosphere is to protect us from the various heat radiations.